Darren Huff here for another Tech Tuesday. Electric radiant versus hydronic. Both do have a remarkable job heating the floor. And they both accomplish the same thing, but with different medians. In other words, hydronic is simply heating water and that water could be heated by gas, it could be heated by oil, it could be heated by electricity. In any event, it is distributing hot water through pipes in the floor. Whereas electricity, where it's using a heat resistant cable and it's converting electricity into heat along these, these heating cables that are in the floor. The big difference uh, between the two systems is that electricity or electric radiant heat heats the floor evenly. This is illustrated here on the hydronic side. Notice how when we come in with the hydronic system or the water enters the piping system in the floor, it is at its highest temperature, typically again around 140 degrees Fahrenheit. But as it starts traveling through the floor, it begins to lose the heat until it leaves and returns back to the boiler system where it can be reheated again and the cycle starts over again. The temperature difference between where it comes in and where it goes out could be 20 degrees or thereabouts. Although still much better than a forced air system because we're heating the entire floor, the difference between the electric and the hydronic system mainly is because the electric side heats the floor perfectly on every inch of the cable because it has the exact same amount of output. That's it for this week. Thank you, and we'll see you next time on another Tech Tuesday.